We on the show Sports Update on Trust TV. I'm Adeniyi Ajishafe. Just to let you have a feel of what's happening in the world of sport, we'll be giving you updates concerning transfer law, also Europa League. But before we do that, we'll be looking at uh, events happening uh, concerning FCT. FCT will be having the sports fe festival, they can call it sports festival, but this time around, FCT School Sports Festival that will be coming up this year. Starting from today, across different locations in Abuja, we'll be looking at that. Now, focusing on that particular topic, 2024 FCT School Sports Festival. And I have in the studio two gentlemen who actually be talking concerning this. One of them is the director of uh, sport in the FCT uh, Sport Department. And right now I have the person of uh, Ashimu Adamu. Good to have you, sir. And also I have uh, uh, in the middle, of, uh, at, at least uh, sitting there in the middle, is uh, Mr. Anaza Ngozi. Uh, that's the name since from the southeast. I'm very sure uh, you are the secretary. Secretary FCC School Sports Committee. Good one. FCC School Sports, School Sports uh, Committee. They are the two of them will be talking with us concerning this year uh, school sport uh, coming up in the FCT, and that's a big one because for a while it has been, I would say it has been on Moribon, but right now it's back to life. Where young stars out there, both young girls and boys between age 17, 18 downward, can compete in different categories of sporting events. And right now we have different locations. Let's quickly look at uh, uh, the approved venues. 2024 FCT School Sports Festival approved venues. We have uh, uh, Abaji Center at the Government Science Technical College, Abaji. Kwali Center, Government Secondary School, Kwali. At Kujie Center is uh, Government Secondary School, Kujie. Gogolada Center, the same school day over there in uh, Gogolada. Duse Center, Government Day Secondary School, Duse Alaji. Government Secondary School, Tudunwada. Government Secondary School, Karishi. And you have Government Secondary School, Tugama there. All that, those are the venues where they will be starting the zona uh, preliminaries uh, before they'll be coming to the center, We're talking about the MKW Stadium, where they'll be fighting for the top team. But right now, we look at the event where they'll be competing, uh, FCT School uh, Sports Festival event now, talking about the FCT Sport event that will be coming up. We have for the primary school, we have track sprint for boys and girls, 100 meters, 200 meters, 400 meters, 4 by 100 meter relays and mixed relays, field events, long jump and high jump, football, boys only for the primary school. And then we look at the junior secondary, we have track events for boys and girls, 100 200, 400, 800, 1,500 meters, 4 by 100 and 4 by 400 meter relays and miss relays. Field event includes long jump, high jump, javelin, football, volleyball, and handball. Now, that's for junior secondary school. We look at senior secondary school. Track event, we have 100 meters, 200 meters, 400, 800, 1,500. In fact, they have 3,000 meters, 5,000 meters. 4x100 and 4x400 relays and miss relays. Uh, well, for the vid event, we have long jump, high jump, short put, javelin, football, volleyball, handball. You have badminton, basketball, and table tennis coming up all in field event. For board games, we have chess, scrabble, ludo, and ayo in all categories. At least we need to at least let you have a feel of what is going to be happening across all those centers where they'll be hosting this event for the primary school, the junior secondary school, and the senior secondary school. Now, let's start with the director. Director, if you look at all these events coming up, the events for primary, for secondary, and for uh, uh, junior class, it has been a while. Quickly take us through what, uh, the journey of coming back to life of FCT school sport. Um, 25 years gone before this event is coming up now. We appreciate our uh, sport lobby minister, Badistani Nzeoi, for bringing back this sport after 25 years. The last edition was during uh, Major General Jerry Husseini. But wow. when he came in and uh, we put up and was able to grant approval and the release of uh, forms for the competition. So that is why we're having this uh, programs coming up. Mm. Uh, okay, now you just mentioned that it at least about 25 years ago yes, sir. that this talent, I will call it talent discovery event, Events. went moribund. 
Yeah. And now it's back to life. Back to life. Um, at, at least we've rolled all the events that will be coming up in primary school, secondary school, and uh, uh, yeah. junior secondary, secondary school. school. Now, secretary. So. Secretary Anna, Zingo, uh, Anna Zangozi, right, yes. of the committee. When it comes to uh, uh, school sports in FCT, uh, after we've rolled out all these events coming up, what are the modalities put in place? Looking at the fact that uh, uh, we know what it has taken in Nigeria. Uh, I hope uh, uh, schools, a lot of schools are becoming with mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you been doing to see how you can curb this particular big issue, mercenaries, in this FCT school sport festival? Yeah, thank you very much. In the area of uh, mercenaries, we actually had um, put in place some measures and one of them is a presentation of NIN, you know, for the students. Another one is um, visual screening. They, they, actually they've done screening this morning and uh, we, we have a technical committee, they went around, they've done screening, just mere observation to make sure that these students are not over age and all of that will use the right age for the right children. Then for mercenaries, it's almost impossible for us to have mercenaries this time mm -hmm. because all the students are coming with their ID cards just to make sure and curb the issues of mercenaries. Okay, now, uh, uh, apart from NIN, uh, you know, like I said, this is Niger. We know how people cut corners can, to some extent. Uh, you just mentioned what you are going to do to cut uh, mercenaries now. What about people that actually come with the name and uh, uh, later when the event starts, you begin to see some faces that you have not seen before? Definitely, um, there are other issues um, we put in place. Um, definitely, if we, if we find out that such a thing comes up, we immediate disqualification and the question of the athletes, and we bar the school. Mm. We send the school back, and we make sure the school doesn't participate in future events. Okay, let me cross over to the chairman now, uh, just uh, to add to what he has said. This is uh, 2024 FCT School Sports Festival. And the happiness for the fact that it's back to life alone is making a lot of young ones out there, primary school, secondary school, they are so happy. Uh, now, if you look at uh, this competition, you have a national body, Nigerian School Sports Federation, NSSF. Yes. What's the, how, how involved are they in this particular 2024 FCT school, school sport? Yes, um, if you look at my cap, you see what I'm wearing. Mm. I'm the coordinator of FCT. Uh, NSSF and uh, we have a program annual programs around the NSSF involving uh, school interhouses and the uh, school uh, sports festival mm. this had to be run to be a feeder for the national secondary school game which we are hoping is coming up later this year so what we are doing here is to enable us to let athletes that will represent FCT at all level of competition. The UBEC game is coming up for primary and junior secondary school, which we are thinking FCT will be hosting. The same thing, the national secondary school game. So after this festival, we should be able to come out with athletes that will represent FCT and represent Nigeria in some square uh, um, category competition that involves secondary schools. Mm. Uh, you are talking about uh, machinery. We are not going to have machinery. Forms have been Registration forms have been sent to schools. School heads fill those forms with the names of their students assigned. So we believe no principal at that level or no headmaster at that level will involve himself in bringing an outsider to contest under his school. Mm -hmm. They know the implication. The department will not take it easy with him. So I'm sure you that anybody who is competing is genuinely from that primary school genuinely from that junior secondary school and genuinely from that uh, senior secondary school. The competition is not only meant for government school, it's both public and private school. So even the private school will not want to dent their names. <laughs> so they cannot bring somebody to run for them. Because once you are caught and it's publicized that it's from so so school, definitely it will affect your school. So machineries are ruled out totally. Okay, good one there. We've yeah. been talking with uh, the uh, two gentlemen from the uh, FCT school, school Sports the Committee Secretary is here, and also the director of that FCT School Sport is also here in the person of Ashima Adamu. Well, right now, let's let's digress a bit. 
let's talk about uh, the preliminaries. I know we've, uh, we've seen that primary school, secondary school, junior secondary school, they have the categories of sporting events that they'll be doing. Why in preliminaries? Yes, um, the preliminaries are meant to reduce the number of uh, uh, um, participants at the final level. You see, we have many schools, we have many primary schools, over 2,000, 3,000 primary schools in the FCT. Mm. We have uh, junior secondary school, over 300, 400. But for senior secondary school, including public and private, about 200. So we have to be at the preliminary level to allow school compete. Look at the constraint now, reducing the distance of their traveling. You cannot ask a school from Abaji to come to the city straight. Uh, that we are going to have crowd mm. that will, be, will not be able to control. But at the zones, after the zones, qualify for the zone, we are going to have a maximum number that we can take care of, where they will be accommodated, and to we'll monitor them, then they now compete at the uh, right. final level. Okay, you see, I, I actually saw that uh, you wanted to buttress more concerning this particular preliminary. No, we're, we're actually expecting them to be at the grand finale mm. um, after they qualify through the preliminaries that is presently ongoing that has just started today. So by the time they are done with the preliminaries, the best from each zone will be will, will come into the grand finale and they'll be accommodated in the FCT here from their various zones. So the grand finale, um, indeed, we should be expected, we're expecting the, their father, the FCT minister, Barista, in some weekend to be at the grand finale with his beloved children. Okay, good one out there. Well, uh, now, when it comes to this, uh, <laughs> the minister, FCT minister, uh, Barista Wiki, uh, we know how tough to, to raise it is to raise funds for sports competition because uh, it's all, it, get, it gives a lot of money. Uh, but now, uh, how, has, how were you able to manage to do everything together with the Minister of uh, <laughs> FCT to get this, this particular competition back to life? Um, you see, education is an opportunity to have a very, uh, I would say, children uh, loving. Mandate Secretary, the pastor of Dr. Dalami Hayo. Love children, love children activities, who lobby the minister and ensure that the minister grant approval for us to have the children and let him see the performance of his children. He have a track record where he is coming from, uh, from Port Harcourt. He says, sport loving father. So the Mandate Secretary had to lobby him to see that he do same in Abuja. Mm -hmm. And that is why he was able to grant approval for us to host it and release funds to ensure that there are no hinges. Mm -hmm. And uh, in all these centers, we have to visit and ensure that the center is safe. Uh, provision of security, medical facility, and all those centers have been made. So that's, that's it. Good yes. one. Good one, coming from Ashimo Adamu, the director of uh, sports there at the FCT School Sport. And the secretary of the committee, uh, in the person of Yana uh, Zangozi, when it comes to this uh, competition, I'm sure the talent that will be discovered from this competition, what will happen after that? This talent um, hunt we are doing through the FCT School Sports Festival, just like um, Mr. Hashimo said earlier on, we are expecting the NSSF to have the National Secondary School Sports Festival. So from here, they will progress to the Secondary School Sports Festival. Then there are equally so many national and um, international um, sporting events. They will equally participate in, especially representing the FCT. Mm. So from here, they will progress into those ones. Good one there. We've been talking with the gentlemen in the studio. They came for the, uh, that, this, that competition that is back to after 25 years. FCC School Sports Festival is back. You want to enjoy some good athletics there, 100 meters, 200 meters, long jump, high jump, basketball, volleyball, everything coming up secondary, primary, and also junior secondary school. They all be competing starting from today in the zona preliminaries before they come together at the MK Villa Stadium starting from next month. But right now, they've been giving us insight to the happenings in that particular competition coming up. It's a sports festival in the FCT. And before we go, let's quickly run through uh, the Europa uh, Europa League fixtures are be coming up uh, today. Uh, right now, matches will be coming up. Let's quickly look at those uh, matches in the Europa 
and then we'll take some transfer. Well, talking about, uh, as we're waiting for Europa, maybe you should, let's take some transfer stories. West Ham United uh, eyeing a move for Bournemouth striker, Dominic Solanke there. They want to get Dominic Solanke to join them uh, right now. And also, let's talk, uh, look at another one that has to do with Ali Tihad. We target Song Heung-min and Mo Salah in the summer. They want to go for these uh, two players from the uh, Premier League. And last one has to do with uh, a Nigerian star player. Chelsea leading Arsenal in the race for Victor Osime. We heard that PSG uh, wanted him, but right now, Arsenal, Chelsea are not giving up too, but Chelsea seems to be leading ahead of Arsenal to get the signature of Victor Diosime, as I call it. All right, now let's look at the fixtures for Europa and also Europa Conference League. Matches coming up tonight. We have Karabakh goes out by Jangle Sporting Braga, uh, the first leg 4 2. You have Reigns against AC Milan. Frey Bob has also learned to lose be playing against Benfica at home. Marcel Shakhtar the next. Feyeno the way to Roma. Sparta Prague will be hosting Galatasaray and sporting Lisbon against uh, the young boys. Who wins there? And now the Europa League uh, conference round uh, fixtures. Let's look at the uh, conference league now. Talking about uh, Europa League conference uh, uh, fixtures that will be coming up. Well, while we're waiting for that, we just have to uh, let you know that uh, the sporting activities in the FCT is actually starting today. Bodo glimpsed against Ajax, Dinamo Zagreb versus Real Betis, Ludo Guerrero's grad versus Savet, Union St. Gloves away to Inter and Frankfurt, Ferenc Varos versus Olympiakos, Ligia was of Poland, will be at home against Mode of Norway, and you have Slovan Bratislava of Slovakia at home against Austrian team Storm Graz. Those are the matches uh, slated for this, uh, this evening. Uh, coming up in the Europa Conference League knockout round fixtures there. Well, back to the studio. Let's appreciate the men that came concerning the FCT school sport. Ms. Uh, Director, your final word to the youth, the young ones uh, at least that uh, will be competing there, at least to encourage them. Yes, we want them to put in their best and uh, we encourage parents to allow the children to compete because you don't know where the, the, the child will be. Hmm. Uh, the academy is not all. So you take to sports and you can come up strong in sports and be whatever you can be. We have been measuring victory seven and the rest is sport that brought them to limelight. Mm. There's some academicians you wouldn't hear them in the world. But some of these are sportsmen all over the world. Automatically what you are seeing yeah. is as you are studying also do sport. Yes. Well, Secretary Ngozi, your final parting words to those young lads out there. We only plead um, with our parents. They should allow their children embrace school sports. Hmm. That's a word there. That's a big word there. Allow your children to go into sport. You never can tell. It can be the next to be a motion or JJ Okocha. Who knows? Victor Simek can actually be in your family. Don't, don't stop them from doing sport. Allow them to go for that sport they love. And who knows? It could be the breadwinner of your family. I want to appreciate you for coming on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm Adeni Ajisha Fias. We always tell you that sport is business and fitness. Thanks for watching.